yeah, in the today's video I want to explain how to take out the rear wheel um, from a DF, uh, DFXL, SLGT, Alpha 7 and the Quest, Quest Carbon. This is the, they have all similar techniques. Uh, this is a DF and I will just explain it how to take out the rear wheel, how to take the rear cassette and how to build it back and the question is of course why would you do this? Well it's important at least once a year to take out the axle and uh, make sure that it's not uh, rusted so put some grease on it, uh, make sure it's in case if you really need to get, get it out, you get it out and it's not fully rusted. Or um, your, your free wheel is not always working proper. Uh, we will make another video how to clean your um, little pins to make sure the free wheel is working in the near future better. Or if you want to change your cassette. And, um, or you're just curious, how does it work? So you can see that uh, the chain ring, the chain is on the biggest, uh, uh, the chain is on the biggest chain ring. Uh, that's not good because it will bring tension. So the first thing I will shift, shift it, uh, shift it on the smallest chain ring, and in the front I will take down the chain from the chain ring in order there's no tension at all on the cassette when I pull out the. So now you can see it's on the smallest one and now I start with uh, taking out the rear axle. At an Alpha 7 you receive this tool, you can purchase it in our web shop, the code of, the, of the, this tool will be down in the link. No. It's a standard key 19, I have here, uh, you can see it's nothing special, uh, that one you put here on the axle, uh, you find here the place, you need to make sure you turn right and not left to untie it. It's, it's a bit against logic, but so that's it. Turn it. So it's out. Now I have to pull. So you can. Papa, axle is out. Okay. The first step is. Take the rear wheel out. So you have the rear wheel. So, so we have the cassette out. Now I can explain you how to build everything back. So you did your maintenance, uh, you greased again the axle, and you find yourself with two bushings. Uh, one bigger one and one smaller one. The bigger one needs to be on the exterior, and the shorter one needs to be on the interior. Otherwise, uh, 
it will not work. Before you stick in the axle, you make sure it's clean. You check if there is, if this is clean, because otherwise you will uh, destroy the bearing in this fitting, uh, and that will, will result in having play on your rear axle. So put some thin grease on it. If you do a lot, mm -hmm. it will not help because uh, it fits so snug through this hole. All the oil will be, all the grease will be removed. So you can see I did already quite a lot because it's even dripping from it. And then I have the cassette with the two bushings. It's very important that you um, take directly the, the, uh, the, the chain. And put it over it, otherwise uh, you have to undo your chain. Uh, you have to put the, the cassette in front of the axle. And you pull a bit, you push a bit. It's always a bit searching for the right spot. Try to fit it. Don't hammer because you will destroy, but a little bit with a cloth be between your hands and you can give it a bit an, uh, a push. So there is another tool. It will be also in the, in the description. We will put it in here in order the the pushy between the bearings will, will, will be aligned. Otherwise, you have uh, between the bearings, you have a bushy to keep the right distance between the bearings. And if that's not aligned, you will never get the axle through and you will get very frustrated. It's a bit of a uh, uh, difficult job here, but, and it helps very much if you cleaned before, uh, before you took out the wheel, that you clean the, the here the inside, you clean here the inside because uh, otherwise you have a very big chance all this sand comes uh, on your axle, on your bearings and that's of course not a great deal for the lifetime of all these components. Okay, I pushed already the axle on, the wheels on Right now you have this cassette having a distance with the uh, the cassette with a distance with the wheel. So right now I push I push the pulse inside. So you push the axle here inside. Uh, sometimes you need to use a little bit of a uh, small rubber hammer. So put a tiny bit of uh, Loctite uh, 243 two, or something similar. And bring here the key to bleed this through. Take this, um, this screw with this welded, um, uh, welded washer. Take this screw with this welded washer with a little bit Loctite on it. Um, do some uh, calming, calming exercise because this is difficult to place there. You make sure that with the inbus part you put it inside on the key and then turn it left to tighten it. It. 
So I take again the P90. I tie this. And voila. Rear wheel attack.